Well, welcome back everyone. This is GTA Valor with another Odds and Ends video. I've just gotten into the toys van over here to start RC Raider Pickup, and my challenge in this video is to see if I can complete all three of the different RC missions without leaving this particular van. So how am I going to do it? Well, you'll find out. So the cheat code that I just entered there was the double speed cheat code. Uh, in fact, I'm actually going to quadruple speed this video momentarily right here. So you're actually watching it play in eight speed because I was playing it natively in double speed with the cheat code. But I don't want to cut anything in this video because I want to show you, um, you know, like whether or not it's possible. What my plan is to try to do all three uh, RC missions in that single van without actually getting out. So how can we do this? Well, the main idea here is that in order to start one of these RC missions, any of the three, you just need to get into a van and then have that van, you need to get into a top fun van and then have that van be in the right spot, like in the radius to start one of the three RC missions. So you can actually drive uh, any Top Fun van over to one of the other Top Fun locations, and you can use a different Top Fun van. This is me turning off the double speed cheat code, and I've also slowed the video down here to regular speed. So my plan is to start the other two uh, RC missions by driving in this particular Top Fun van over to uh, each of the other two RC missions. So. There is the first mission done, and now we just start driving. So how are we going to get from here over to the other two top fun, um, the other two RC missions? Because the other two RC missions are both on the Eastern Island, and the Eastern Island is currently locked from all bridges and, and stuff to, to get from here to there. Not possible, at least not normally. I didn't intend to, to roll. I <laughs> almost had to start over here. Fortunately, I saved the van. Uh, I'd kind of forgotten how crummy the handling was on the Top Fun vans. I have hardly any experience driving them. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, is drive to uh, not the bridge to Starfish, but the next bridge, which is the one that heads over to the um, golf course. And that bridge is also blocked. Uh, there's a big old gate uh, with uh, hit detection even above the gate, and that gate is supposed to block you. And uh, I guess it's supposed to block you from going uh, from the eastern island to the western island early. But in our case, the problem is it's going to block us from going back from the west island to the east island. So that gate is all kinds of solid, as is this top fun van. So what are we going to do? Well. We're going to cheat. I know I said I, I'm not really a, a cheat code guy other than the double speed cheat code and then using my quick save program. Just Those are just both to save me time. Uh, but we're going to use the flying cars cheat. I don't really, I only have like one other idea. This is me typing in come fly with me. That's the flying cars cheat. And I don't really have, I have just one other idea to try to make this happen without the flying cars cheat. But anyway, this is my first attempt at it. And then there we go. You control it just like you control a uh, you know plane or a helicopter with the nine and six on the number pad to lean forward or backward respectively. And now here I'm turning the come fly with me cheat code off, although I'm failing to type that phrase correctly. There it is. And now we have no more flying cars cheat. And so here we are on the Eastern Island and we have not yet gotten out of this van. And the plan is to do both of the other two RC missions without leaving this van. So uh, we're going to head over to the RC Baron mission, which remember is in the um, top level of the parking lot right next to the North Point Mall. Uh, I didn't need to repair my Top Fun van. It hadn't gotten all that damaged, but I've literally never brought a Top Fun van into the paint spray. So I was just curious, wanted to see if the paint spray would even take it, because sometimes they'll say uh, we won't touch anything that hot, uh, usually for the emergency vehicles. They won't take those. Uh, and I also wanted to see if the uh, color would change. And uh, so the Top Fun van is sprayable, but the colors all stayed exactly the same. All right, so getting close to RC mission number two in this singular van. There's the uh, parking garage uh, a little bit uh, kind of directly in front of us here and off to the right. And we will make our way up to the top. And then I will um, fast forward through the video, uh, I did end up trying to use the cheat code, the um, double speed cheat code while I was flying the RC Baron. That was a terrible idea because I immediately lost control uh, because I just I wasn't used to, you know, the, how long I was supposed to hold down the buttons to like lean forward or whatever while I was in the RC Baron. And so I missed a checkpoint, ended up in last place for a while. 
Boom, get out of my way. All right, so there you go. You see uh, that we can indeed start this uh, RC mission in a different Top Fun van, not the Top Fun van that uh, was uh, deposited there, the fixed spawn for this mission. So we've already seen this entire race in regular speed, so now I will fast forward through my attempt in quadruple speed. There you saw I typed in the cheat code. Bad idea. I'm way out of control turning the cheat code off, the double speed cheat code. And I think I was in fourth place, and now I'm uh, just trying to catch up. Not a big deal to fail. Uh, failing would just mean I have to do it again. Uh, I can continue to do as many attempts as I want without getting out of that top fun van, which is the goal of this whole video. So almost done, and then I uh, will put the uh, the playback in regular speed for the last couple. And I'm still in second place here, and now finally about to pass. There we go. Not a moment too soon, I'll say. Okay, and we remain in this Top Fun van. Notice that the Top Fun van that was spawned there for the purposes of that mission disappeared, right? Like it, it, it despawned because I guess we were inside of the spot, and so it uh, got rid of that other Top Fun van. But uh, anyway, I hope it had a good life. And now we are heading over to the beach to the final RC mission, again in this same Top Fun van. So I said you can start any RC mission in any Top Fun van, but there's not a lot of options. There's exactly three fixed spawns for the Top Fun van around the map. Uh, it's, it's the locations, the starting locations of the three RC missions. I don't believe that the uh, Top Fun vans can just spawn randomly in traffic, at least I've never seen one. And uh, other than that, there's only two other moments in the game, like as you're playing the game, where uh, the Top Fun van makes uh, an appearance. And so we'll uh, leave it as a, a trivia question for you. In which two missions does the Top Fun van appear, other than the three RC missions that we're seeing in this video? Which two story missions feature a Top Fun van? Go ahead and leave your answers in the comments. Feel free to name the missions if you know them, or maybe just describe them if you don't know the official names of those missions. Okay, and we shove that official Top Fun van out of the way, and we begin our third and final RC mission, the Bandit Race. Let's go. All we have to do is finish first, and challenge is complete. So we'll play the rest of this race in quadruple speed. Again, you've seen it all before. I don't know if I mentioned this in the RC video previously, but I had a devil of a time winning this race when I was playing this game initially on that Kindle Fire HD, which is a tablet with a touchscreen. So the controls were touch controls, and the, the precision that I needed to come in first in this race is not precision I had. Oh, so frustrating to lose time and time and time again. But with keyboard and mouse, it's pretty straightforward once you understand uh, how to find the balance between uh, speed and um, kind of skidding around the track. You've got to maintain control, but go relatively fast. Okay, challenge is complete. I started in this one Top Fun van all the way over on the Western Island. I did that uh, uh, the RC helicopter race and then uh, used the cheat code to fly over here onto the Eastern Island and stayed in this van to do the other two um, RC missions. So uh, yeah, challenge complete, but I had to use that cheat code. I wasn't thrilled that I had to use a cheat code, but it was the first idea that came to me. But I had another idea. Uh, so here I've uh, started RC Raider Pickup again. Now I'm not actually going to bother trying to complete uh, RC Raider Pickup because I didn't think my idea was going to work, so I didn't want to waste like six minutes doing that mission before trying my idea with getting this van over to the eastern island without using cheat codes so i just uh i just blew up the um the chopper but anyway suffice it to say i'm not going to get out of this van until either i fail or i get the van over to the eastern island that's the plan so the first idea i had was to try to put this van into a boat and use the boat to transport the van over to the eastern island so just off this pier to my right is a fixed spawn coast guard that's the name of the boat and we are now upside down in the water. That is not stellar. So I tried this for another 10 minutes off video, probably about a dozen more times, and I fell into the water every time. So then I decided to just look around and see if there was like better boats, like the Coast Guard uh, boat wasn't great, but I saw this police predator boat, and I said, officer, can I help you get unstuck? Let me try driving. He said, sure, no problem, as long as you don't mind having a star. I said stars are just fine with me. I know where all the police bribes are because I watched that early odds and ends video. 
So I uh, wasn't sure what was going to happen here. I thought he might just try to bust me immediately. He's standing there. He even said, don't make me run right after I, I got the star. Uh, but he's not trying to bust me here, but he does look like he's ready. He's ready to take action as soon as the moment presents itself. So I'm going to back up to this pier in the hopes that I can get the uh, toys van over here and drive it onto the back of this boat. But as soon as I stopped driving, the police officer said, okay, it is now safe to fight you. So we fought a little bit. This is all fine. He can't swim either. All good. And then I think I'm just going to back my boat up a little bit more because, again, I want to... Uh, I want the back of the boat to be pretty close to flush with the end of this pier with the hopes of driving the top fun van off the pier directly into the boat and then maybe I can use this boat to transport that van. Let's give it a shot. So you'll see that I'm going to run all the way back to the RC starting mission. This is in quadruple speed but I had the double speed cheat code on while I was playing the game so this is in a tuple speed run right here. We're making great time. Tommy's cardio is just off the charts. So here we are. And again, I'm going to uh, just detonate my helicopter right away, but let's just pretend that I spent the six minutes to pass this thing. And then we're going to drive back to that boat. And the reason that I ran all the way back instead of just stealing a car from the street and driving it back, which would be quicker than running all the way back, is that the more vehicles you get in, uh, the uh, greater the chance a previous vehicle will despawn. And so I don't want that boat to despawn. So I avoided getting in any vehicles between the boat and the top fun van. Okay, so the pier is going to be off on the right-hand side, just past the bridge to uh, Starfish Island. Here we go. And uh, this is me turning off the double speed cheat code again. And let's give this a shot. And we're just trying to squeeze in here. And I do want to drive forward, um, you know, directly forward. The front of the van should go forward into the back of the boat. That's the plan. And I don't actually intend to get out of the uh, van. Should I be able to get the van into this boat, like stably on the boat? Uh, remember in, uh, let's see, I guess it was one of the Pizza Boy odds and ends. It was the Pizza Boy odds and end video. I demonstrated that it is possible to slowly steer a reefer um, with while, while staying on the Pizza Boy moped. And so I intended to stay in the top fun van, um, like turning left and turning right, just trying to essentially push the boat, which is not possible from a physics perspective. But you can see we are slowly moving away from the dock. I'm just trying to get a sense of how far we moved. I don't know, six feet? We're not making great time anymore. In fact, I don't have a lot of confidence that this is going to work. So the technique that I showed you in that uh, Pizza Boy Odds and Ends video, by the way, I'm still flooring it. I'm going forward, full speed, turning left, turning right, going straight, just trying to do anything to get this thing, this uh, predator to move. So specifically in that Pizza Boy uh, attempt, I used the reefer, and I think that that, that uh, the reefer is maybe like better for this kind of like uh, car boat thing than uh, the predator is. So that's why we're having some trouble. I think at some point I'm going to start like backing up because like going forward isn't doing anything. And then I was like, oh, maybe I can just back up the entire way to the eastern island. This seems safe. All good. So the question is, like, if, if my top fun van goes in the water, do I call, like, the Coast Guard, or, like, do I call for a tow truck? I don't know what the right standard operating procedure is. Yeah, so we are very slowly um, moving backwards, um, because that's how physics works, I guess. But uh, I didn't have a lot of confidence that this was going to do anything for me. I mean, the rate at which we're going backwards is so, so slow. And uh, even when I'm ready to get off, like I, I you know, like I accidentally got off there and we're going to die. But I, I, I didn't know. I don't know how I got off. So even if we got all the way to the eastern island with that technique, I'm not sure how I would have finished it to get the top fun van actually onto solid land. So now we're seeing the tail end of a long setup that I didn't show you, but I hopped in that fixed Coast Guard and drove it all the way over to the eastern island and picked up, picked up this fixed reefer spawn and then drove the reefer spawn all the way back to that uh, that dock that you just saw me at. And now here we are, living the dream until we're not. So I don't know. I don't know why I bounced out. It seemed like it was working, right? At the very least, we were moving a lot faster than we were when we were the Predator. I had just one other idea, and that was to try the Packer. So remember, the Packer is the truck that carries other cars, but essentially we want it because it's a big old ramp. So I went all the way to the far south of the island, grabbed that fixed spawn packer that we've used before and drove it all the way to the far north. Then I went again to the far south, but on foot this time, 
and grabbed this top fun van and uh, failed the, the chopper uh, by detonating my helicopter, but uh, I wasn't worried about passing the RC mission. This is really just a proof of concept. Can I get this top fun van over to Prawn Island? Bam! You can see that on the left-hand side we hit air and rebounded off of it. So the hit wall, the detection wall, um, preventing us from getting back to Prawn Island is, is wider than it appears. There's some invisible uh, hit detection there as well. So this is not a top fun van. I just uh, couldn't stomach that long uh, run all the way back to the south and the long drive to the north. So I just stole this van, about the same size and shape as the top fun van. Didn't quite make it. Seemed like I almost did. I kind of flipped over onto my, my roof. So here is a different attempt with a different substitute for the top fun van. And I'm going to drive this thing over my packer, my ramp, and I'm not going to die instantly in the water like I did on those last two attempts. But I am going to get on land and just barely be surviving, uh, barely keeping the uh, moonbeam, that's what I'm driving right now, out of the water. So I'm going to fast forward my attempt to regain control of this moonbeam. So I'm like, you know, I'm jamming on the, uh, the gas right now, trying to go forward. Uh, straight, forward, left, forward, right, whatever I can do. And, and sometimes I would gradually, you know, like make a little bit of progress in one direction or the other, but I'm quadruple speeding this because it would just took so long. Something like three minutes of just jamming forward and, and right, forward and left, forward and straight. Occasionally reverse just to try and change things up. And after like three minutes of what didn't seem like much progress, eventually something happened. I was able to get my Moonbeam to get in reverse and drive onto Prawn Island proper. I could never replicate this with the toy van. I tried, uh, I don't know, like six or seven times. Never got there. Maybe you can. If you have other ideas for how to accomplish this silly challenge, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you real soon.